perfect soy balance. I have $1,425 that I will be cash stuffing today. So let's do things a little bit backwards. I normally start off with my variable expense binder, but why not start out with my 100 envelope savings challenge? I'm going to be putting $290 towards this challenge today. Now, I have decided this time around, this is my second time doing this challenge, that I'm going to round up to the nearest five as opposed to putting toonies and loonies in here. I just thought that way I'll save just a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let's add to this. I'm going to be doing envelopes, let's see here, 58, 59, and 60. Oh, gotta save those bigger bills. Did I do that right? Why do I feel like I'm losing it? I did not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so 60. shade in our progress so far. Oops. I'm going to do a few more here. All right, so that is $290 that I have just added to this challenge. I am trying my best to complete this challenge in a faster period than I did last time. Last time it took me about six months. I'd love to see if I can beat that this time. So, um, I am hustling hard to create some extra income so I can add to this. All right, so that is my 100 envelope challenge. Move it out of the way. And then let's do my 52 week savings challenge. So with this challenge, when it's complete, I'll have $2,024 saved. There are 52 envelopes which need to be filled, hence the name 52 week savings challenge. Because I'm paid bi-weekly, I do fill two envelopes every payday. So I'm going to be doing the $30 one here. Oops. As well as the $20 one. Oopsies. All right, so let's move on to my day-to-day -day binder here. This covers all of my day-to-day -day expenses. If you don't already know, I do pay all of my bills online. I do not cash stuff those. I leave the amount in my account to cover them, and most of them are set up for auto payment. So gas will be getting $80. Oops. Now hold on to that one $10 bill to put it in my challenge. So $80. 
fund currently has $15 in there. It was left over. I carried it over from last pay period. So I'm going to be adding another 20 to bring me to 35. And this just covers things like coffee or yeah, pretty much just coffee. Household, I'm going to be adding $20 to. I just did stock up on a bunch of things, which is why I've only got $10 left in there right now. So I'm adding another 20. Dining out will be getting 75. And then groceries is getting 150. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to my sinking funds binder. If you're not familiar with a sinking fund, it's basically you're saving up over a period of time for a future expense that you know you're going to have. And this is entirely separate from a emergency fund. So um, Ford is my parents' dog. My dog Hank passed away a couple of months ago. So I thought it would be a nice gesture to continue buying dog food because my parents' dog loves to come over and snack on Hank's food. So I'm still buying dog food for Ford. So I'm adding money to that envelope. Bedroom overhaul, I am not adding to. I've been meaning to get to Ikea, but it just hasn't happened that I'm beginning to think I need to just order my item online and get it shipped to me. Um, Ikea is a bit of a haul for me to get to, so yeah. Um, gifts, I'm adding $20 to. So that brings me to $270. Costco, I'll be adding $50. Not sure when I'll be going next, but I like to stock up on essential items when I'm there. Not so much food, just because I'm a single person and I find buying food from Costco in bulk just doesn't make sense for me. Clothes, I'll be adding 40. So I'm at 180 there. Beauty will be getting 20. And if you're curious how I've come up with these amounts, I do work out a budget every single payday so I know exactly where I need to allocate my money to. Um, so hopefully that answers that question because I get asked that a lot. 190 is going into my medical. I've just received a um, prescription for, I get really severe migraines. Um, so I need to go get that prescription filled. I haven't had it filled before. So I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost. So, and if you're Canadian, you know prescriptions aren't covered by our healthcare, unless of course you have extended healthcare coverage, which I do not. So I'll be paying for that out of pocket. And the doctor mentioned it's really expensive. So I have no idea how much that's gonna cost. I guess we will find out. <laughs> Moving on now, whoops. All right then. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be filling my savings challenges here. So this is my five, 10 and $20 savings challenge. The $5 one, I'm going to be adding 20. These are great beginner savings challenges. 10 to my 10. I'm so glad I held on to that $10 bill. They are pretty tricky for me to get. Um, it's very rare for my ATM to have $10 bills and I just find going to the ATM to be more convenient than running inside and seeing a teller because I typically go to the bank after hours. So they didn't have them this time. It just so happened to work out that I had 10s left over and I did some bill swapping around. So anyways, move it on. $20 savings challenge I'm adding $20 to. And then we are going to move on here to my um, oops, savings challenges, my other ones, which are higher priority for me. So I've got my emergency savings fund. This is a high priority for me right now. I currently have $1,000 in my high interest savings account, but I am trying to get three months worth of expenses saved. So today I'm adding, let's see here, $400 to this. 
There we go. Okay, so let's see what I have saved so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, seventy, seven hundred and eighty dollars so far. So when this challenge is complete, I will have another thousand dollars, which I will then be depositing into my high interest savings account again. And I will be starting the challenge all over again until I have three months worth of expenses fully saved up. And then down the road, I would love to have like six months worth of expenses saved, but for now, I feel comfortable with three months. I don't own my house. I do rent um, a lot of my, I'm, I'm just in a very fortunate situation right now. So I feel comfortable having just 3,000 or three months worth of expenses saved. If I owned a home, I would probably want to aim for six months because you never know what type of things could come up where you would have to fix the items in your home, like your roof or who knows? So because I am a renter, that's not such a high priority for me right now. Um, once I have three months worth of uh, expenses saved up, I would love to start saving up maybe for a home or some sort of bigger purchase. So that's where that's at. Oh, I totally forgot the rest of my savings challenges in here. That binder is just not working for me. Okay, so we did my emergency fund. I'm not adding to my self-care. I am gonna be adding to my Christmas savings challenge. It's gonna be getting $40. So I've decided that each light bulb on here represents $20. So when I'm done this challenge, I will have $600. And this is just to cover gifts at Christmas as well as any activities that we plan to do as a family and whatnot. So I did have a little bit of money left over last Christmas, which I then just rolled over into my gift envelope. So. It is such a relief having this money saved up. And then when Christmas comes, I don't have that financial burden. In the past, I would like charge it to my credit card and it was just so incredibly stressful. So just setting aside a little bit every single payday, it just makes such a huge difference. And then the last one I'm adding to today is my vacation savings challenge. So I have no idea where I'm saving up to to go to next. If anybody has any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm all ears. I want to hear from you where you think I should go. I've been very fortunate to have had done some traveling in my life, but I love travel and I will go anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> let me know what you're all thinking. So $50. I do get time off in January from my job. So we close the store for a couple of weeks so I would like to take advantage and go somewhere again next January. So that concludes today's cash stuffing video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'd love to hear from you. So be sure to drop a line in the comments below and have a great day, everybody. Thanks again. Bye.